the 1950s, Universal Pictures put out a classic sci-fi horror film, The Thing. And it's been likened to a uh, carrot from outer space they dig up in the snow that had crashed in Antarctica on the south pole of this planet, dug it up, and then it was basically a shapeshifter uh, that would uh, devour its prey and then copy them. And then, of course, they had the John Carpenter classic in 1982, uh, which is probably one of the uh, best sci-fi horror films ever made, in my humble opinion. But you see, we live in the real world, and truth is stranger than fiction. No, we haven't had an alien that crashed millions of years ago in Antarctica that's been thawed out and is now at a research facility uh, absorbing uh, the crew uh, with an eye towards invading the mainland and taking over the entire biosphere of the planet Earth. No, 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 that's not happening. And, of course, they're now re-releasing uh, basically a remake of the 1982 from the reviews I've read. No, I'm talking about the real thing, the real deal. I'm talking about genetic engineers, transhumanists, working for the globalist, who in their own words admit, going back to the 1970s, that they had a plan to patent every major food crop and then every major life form prolific life form on this planet and put artificial genes, genetics, DNA, RNA into them to manipulate viruses, bacteria. And now that's been done with tens of thousands of different species. In some cases, hundreds of different species are being spliced together. You know about spider goats that are part goat, part spider that produce body armor in their milk. You've read about the super salmon. Uh, that university studies have shown will extinct the uh, normal salmon that are in the ocean. And these salmon, uh, different varieties have been mixed with other fish, insects, plants, the list goes on and on. You see, that's the real thing. Uh, you're eating corn, you're eating a GMO potato, and it's had insect genes and other traits added to it. It's had pharmacological traits in the BT corn and other crops where a uh, pesticide is engineered to grow inside the corn to where field mice and insects can't eat it. If they do, they die. But then you are fed this. My point is, as we prepare to enter 2012, we have a global ruling class that are playing God and who, quite frankly, don't know what they're doing. I mean, they were able to foresee with their futurists and their think tanks, hiring the top minds in the world, uh, what could be done. Uh, but they are endangering the planet itself while constantly distracting the public with fake environmental crises like carbon dioxide that is 0 0.0360 of the atmosphere. The New World Order, simply put, are people trying to play God. They've studied how humans operate as if they were an alien coming here from a foreign planet. They have funded literally hundreds and hundreds of universities for more than 150 years to study every facet of psychological, spiritual, uh, physical processes that take place. And they have tested and refined incredible tools of social control, propaganda, chemical control through the water and food supply. This is all on record. The globalists have also, for at least 80 years, engaged in lethal chemical and biological as well as radiological tests on prisoners, foster children, military personnel. The list goes on and on. You know about injecting people with syphilis. You know about uh, the horrors of children being radiated by the thousands in atomic studies. You, you know about forced sterilizations going on right into the 1980s, or at least you should know about that. That is only the tip of the iceberg. And it's being done to test these systems, but also to test the personnel and to create larger pools of individuals 
that will carry out these type of activities because they enjoy the power, because they believe the end justifies the means. The point is the global ruling class believe they are a separate species from us and openly write about this. They believe they have transcended the common man and are actively trying to poison and also socially dumb down the general population so that we will fit in to the mold and the typecast that they've made for us. So when you see movies like John Carpenter's classic or this new one uh, that just came out, remember that the real world is a lot stranger than what Hollywood screenwriters can come up with. And sure, it's not as sexy, it's not as shocking uh, as a young heroine fighting the monster from deep space. And there aren't bodies splitting apart and, 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 and spewing out tentacles with razor sharp teeth. And heroes standing up to it with flamethrowers and dynamite. No, in this war, the thing, the globalist system of control is simply taking over species after species, infecting every major food crop, every staple food animal, and splicing new systems into their DNA that irrevocably spread into the entire family. Take the case of corn, going back over a decade, close to 90% of all known corn varieties, and there are thousands originating uh, in Mexico, have now been infected. And the latest numbers I saw is that there is no known major cultivated crop unless it's in closed laboratories that has not been infected. Everything is being infected. So in the thing, it shows under an electron microscope the alien cells metastasizing and taking over the natural cells of the husky uh, or of the human that it's infected. But in reality, this is already happening to us. But it doesn't happen right away. You see, if a GMO crop was put out that caused people to mutate and bleed out and die or turn into something else right in front of you, you would recognize it as a threat. But because it's a slow, creeping methodical death, you're not aware of it. We're designed to face a frontal assault, a saber-toothed cat jumping out against a troop of hunting Cro-Magnon. We are not designed to deal with poison that's been added into our environment. We're designed to just basically adapt to it or die. And so the globalists have developed a very, very sophisticated, soft-kill, incremental, ambient genetic Armageddon takeover system where it just slowly is ramped up. If you look, please, for you and your family's sake, and for the future of this planet and the life forms that developed here over untold eons, there is a total revolution by the, quote, scientific class in their lust for power, in their lust for extended life, uh, in their lust for super weapons to dominate the globe. They have already opened up a thousand times a thousand Pandora's boxes. And if you just look at the admitted studies in guinea pigs, rats, mice, dogs, uh, monkeys, where the life cycles are in weeks, months, or years, instead of human life cycles being in around 76 years, in every major study within three generations with every major GMO crop where they've had cross-species splicing and uh, genetic chimera cross-clone manipulation, in every case within three generations, the genitals shrivel up to nothing. Fertility goes down to almost zero. Those that ate the genetically engineered soy, they didn't actually show the problems in the first generation. The second generation was slower growth, slower onset for maturity, but by the third generation, that's when nearly all of the adults had lost the ability to have babies. There are more horror movie type mutations uh, where most of the young are born dead or deformed, or the young are born small, mentally retarded, with hair growing out of their mouths, eyeballs on the back of their head, 
And within three generations, it does get like a John Carpenter movie, The Thing. This is not by accident. They stack these traits and, and, and genetic engineers that we've interviewed who work for these companies have said, hey, this potato is sterilizing the rats. They're like, don't worry about that trait. Just move ahead. So there are Trojan horse traits that have been added to all of these. This is 21st century warfare. And of course, that's just the tip of the iceberg when we talk about chimeras and cross-species clones and the island of Dr. Maru type things that are happening that H.G. Wells predicted over 100 years ago would come to fruition. The real revolution and why the globalists are so arrogant is they've created new classes of vaccines. They call them vaccines. That's a diversion. They're really genetically engineered nanotech uh, and they advertise it soon. We've already developed it, but soon we're going to get approval, they say, of a vaccine where you'll never be angry. You'll never be sad or you'll never want to drink alcohol or use cocaine because the virus actually goes in and changes your brain chemistry. Listen to me. The facts are in. Please, for your own sake and the sake of our species, let's not let these control freak psychopaths mutilate and vandalize and irrevocably damage the biosphere and the ancient genetic system of this planet so they can be on a power trip and play God. Look at the fruits of the New World Order. Most cancers have more than tripled in the last two decades. Diabetes has doubled in the last decade. All sorts of new cancers that never existed before are now appearing. Scores of vaccines have been found to be implanted with sterilants, cancer viruses, microplasms, uh, nanotech microplasms that are purely artificial. The United States has the highest rates of every major cancer in the world, including breast cancer. And the system always talks about giving more money when you buy food or go to a movie to uh, try to create cures for breast cancer instead of finding out why it's all skyrocketing, why pancreatic cancer is skyrocketing, and why the system's trying to block vitamins and minerals from the public. Again, the globalist might as well be a space alien from 15 trillion miles away who crashed in Antarctica and got dug up and wants to wreck this planet and totally genetically absorb it. Like John Carpenter's The Thing. Might as well be. The globalist covered up the fact that Fukushima was many times Chernobyl and that the radiation levels were rising all across the United States. And so the EPA's response was just to raise the level of isotopes, in some cases, 100,000 times what they said was previously safe. This is the type of self-destructive, truly demonic, is the only word to describe it, behavior that we see coming out of the ruling class. And it's time for people infected by cynicism uh, and by a hatred of life to really ask yourself, is this what you want to be part of? The things that the globalists create are malformed abominations. The entire biosphere is being absorbed. It may already be irreversible. The life cycle of these rats and mice and guinea pigs is just a few years. And within three generations, near total infertility and adult mental retardation, total deformities, stillbirths, just, just a wreck species. We are eating the same stuff, but on average, we have offspring every 20 years and already look at the mental retardation, all the new uh, problems, all the new cancers, the diseases, and we are just one generation into this. The mercury alone in the vaccines, major study shows, is causing massive irrevocable DNA damage that we're already seeing in this generation of your 25 years or so, the numbers are off the chart, but it's damaging the eggs of the girls that are being born now. And they've got cadaver studies on young children that have died, young girls, and they've looked at their eggs. They're nearly infertile. 
if an alien from a foreign planet wanted to come in and infiltrate and destroy humanity, it couldn't do a better job than the globalists have done. All right, you've been warned.